Now it's time for question and answers with Wild Tech Designs. So the first one is gonna be on a Shannon Likes Reel. And this is from Baby Back <laughs> huh? All right, so what newer Econolines still run beams thought that was for the old ones? So actually 2008 was the last year the I-beam came in a van. And then until 2023, which is now, they still come in the cutaway versions, which could include the box vans, motorhomes, and you know, tow trucks, I don't know, whatever else comes on that E-Series platform. So that's definitely very cool. So uh, let's go into the next one. What do we got here? That van rips, I need that steering setup on my E100. Yes, you probably do. And I would love to even do like a crossover steering on this. I mean, that would just be fun. Maybe that's something for a future project. Let's see, and that was from Slow Sketchy. So yeah, you wouldn't be Slow Sketchy if you had a WeldTech Design suspension package on your van. All right, let's see. So let's see, Nahul X, vans only. I would love to see this expand to the third gen forerunners. I know my two wheel drives needs this. Yeah, sorry. We really just like playing with the silly vans over here at Weld Tech Designs. I mean, you never know where we will go in the future, but that's definitely our focus right now is vans and motorhomes making them just handle amazing. I know the motorhomes need so much help and that's why we have begun to develop even new products for the F53 motorhome. All right, we're going to keep going. So this new video, so new video is up on the new Chevy Express fiberglass fenders and hood. And let's see. It says Rich Ship, Rich Shipe, Rich Rich Sipe. Dude, YouTube names always kill me. All right. So this one says, awesome, been waiting for something like this forever. We'll be ordering the fronts when my van is done. Don't expect them to cover 37s. Dang, you're going to go big on your Chevy Express. You're probably doing a straight axle 4x4 conversion, so I would definitely recommend you look into maybe getting our rear springs. That's going to hugely benefit you, but more importantly, you're going to probably want a set of our ultra seats because uh, that straight axle front end, I wonder how nice that's going to ride compared to the IFS, IFS. Hey, that's just my 10 cents. But anyways, let's see. Do I need to upgrade that van bulb style on the grill? Um, so we actually are running, running the Vantage Optics lights on the front of our van. And let me tell you, if you are looking for an upgrade, do those guys kill it? Uh, make a killer light setup. It's going to be really nice. So that's it. The van looks sick and beefy. Thanks, Ranger Dad 89. It is beefy. And what you should do is um, this is on the Chevy van. So this was our SEMA build for 2021, I think it was. And now this van is even more crazy and amazing. All right. We're going to keep moving along through these. So 18,000 pound RV gets a two inch lift. So Lewis, the agent. So let me says, is there an application of King shocks that will also fit my Jayco Seneca Freightliner M2 chassis? Well, Lewis, I would love for you to bring me your Jayco Seneca and we do a set of shocks for those. We definitely have the ability to do that. Um, we've also recently ventured into doing even some of the diesel pusher motorhomes. So, I mean, shocks make the biggest difference. And let me tell you, when you get into these bigger coaches that weigh 24, 30,000 pounds, a 2.0 shock is not enough. Even if you have airbags, air ride, even on the older coaches, it's nothing compared to the new air ride on the newer coaches. I personally have, uh, I had an 04 country coach, did 2.5 shocks on it, and oh my gosh, what a difference it made. I'm telling you, it's just, I got nothing else to say. It's awesome. So Lewis, if you're interested, hit us up. We would love to help you out. So we're going over this. All right, so the next question, uh, never considered remarrying. Uh, this was definitely a funny video. Of course, we did a lot of different versions of it. You know, made me want to cry. But um, this one is from Pinchy Alinchi. I don't know, I'm screwing these up. But luckily, we're not doing this in English because 
the conversion on that. Um, well, he says, I'm not selling my RV anymore after seeing our suspension on it. So definitely, you know, positive. So as we keep going, I am MD Chi. I've been waiting for a video, waiting for this video. How does the weld tech spring differentiate, differentiate? Man, I'm totally screwing that up. From the ones that are out there, like the Super Spring or Hellwig Super Springs. So what he's referring to is our new Class A suspension products. So this is going to be our add a leaf spring that you can add to your Class A RV. So what it is that we've done in this is we've created a parabolic spring, much like what the factory spring has in it. However, if you get into the heavier coaches, what they actually do is they add an additional spring to it. Now, the difference between our spring and their spring is we actually add arc to our spring, creating an air gap between the first and second spring. What that air gap is going to do is it's actually going to slightly change the progression in the spring as well. So it's not fully engaged all the time. That's going to be the key part of this. What we've also done as well is increased load carrying capacity by having this additional spring under there. And we've also helped reduce the amount of sway that this has. And on this particular Sunstar, we did not upgrade sway bars. We did not do track bars and we did not do sumo springs as well. Our goal is to provide you a cost-effective kit that is going to make your RV drive better. And with a total cost all in and just parts might be in the neighborhood of $5,000. What that also does include is a 2.5 King shock. That's a gas pressure shock that's going to keep it cooler longer. We're controlling the compression and rebound side of it as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Adios amigos.